Holy moly, it's terrifying down here. Guys, how did the lockers just close? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! I'm Mo Sarji. Hey! That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go! Careful! From abandoned ghost towns to, right to being locked up in the basement of Haunted Mansion Those ghosts or spirits would tell her build this, build this To fighting for my survival on deserted islands And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures <laughs> oh, lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures Yo Tom, my boy! Live a little What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night spooky adventure. We're still inside of this little town of abandoned mental asylums where girls were kept in here. Bad things happened to them. If you guys missed episode one, go watch it right now. We had a bit of a scare at the end of the episode, but now we're doing part two and uh, I might switch over to night vision throughout this video. We're actually in the school area. So we got Jasko over here, we got Chris over there and we got Angelo over here. Everyone's links is gonna be down below guys. So you already walked inside and you've seen something cool in there. Oh, dude, I love this place. <laughs> okay. It's like a dream come true. You can eat off the bathroom floor. It's, it's so that cool. clean? Yeah, it's so pretty good. Good. This place is like over 100 years old, right? Uh, yeah, 104. <laughs> and it's been abandoned probably for a long time. It's, it's been, been abandoned 23 years, years, it's been closed. 23 years? They must have someone cleaning the building. Damn, okay. So we're gonna go inside and explore it and, you know, investigate for the paranormal. That's what we're here for. The last episode was an abandoned explore, but we have some paranormal things happen. We're here all alone, so let's go inside. We're gonna be splitting off and everyone's gonna be documenting their own versions, their own videos, so you guys can see different points of views and maybe capture lots of paranormal. Smash the like button, let's get on with this adventure. Once I get inside, I'm gonna tell you guys about Jimmy the janitor, really evil person that worked in this place. But uh, we're gonna split off, I'm gonna leave Angelo, I'm gonna leave Chris, I'm gonna leave Jasko over here, I'm gonna go off alone, so I'll see you guys later. Fun, Holy shit, it's creepy in here. Holy moly. I haven't been inside just yet, sergeants. Look at this place. It's a big school on the same property as the last episode that I put. There's like 50, literally 50 abandoned buildings here. Each building has a different function. Oh my god. Look at this. The fact that I'm in here all by myself. <clears throat> terrifying. Whoa, it's pretty clean in here too, guys. Look at this. I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN allows me to watch movies and shows on Netflix and other platforms that are usually never available to me in my country. Because I'm in Canada, I can never watch Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. So I use Surfshark's VPN to allow me to watch Ghost Adventures awesome episodes. One of my favorite shows. Thank you, Surfshark. Surfshark is fast and easy to use. Connect to the server that offers the best speed by default. Surfshark VPN is jam-packed with features that go way beyond the basics. It's easy to install and only one subscription connects you to all your devices. Surfshark Search allows you to search the internet in complete privacy with no ads or trackers following your every move. I'm always on the go and because of Surfshark's amazing VPN, I can safely use public Wi-Fi without the fear of anybody stealing my private or personal information or even gaining access to my devices. With Surfshark Alert, get immediate notifications notifications when someone's trying to hack into your devices if your personal information has been leaked in databases. Stay ahead of hackers by changing your logins before your account gets taken over. Surfshark's two-factor authentication keeps your account secure and imposes additional difficulty for cyber criminals. Surfshark has 3,200 servers in 65 countries which ensure that you'll find a server anywhere you're at. You can use your Surfshark with your PC, with your Mac, with your Linux, with your PS4, Apple TV, Chrome, Firefox, Amazon Fire Stick, any Android or iOS device and there's plenty more that you can use it with. Enter promo code MOSARGY to get 83% off plus an additional three months for free. Make sure you guys use my promo code that's here on the screen. The links will be down in the description below. All right guys, it's that easy. Make sure to download the link in my description. I'll be pinning it to the top of the comments and in my description. Get yourself Surfshark VPN. Now, what do you say we get back into this video? So there used to be this janitor named Jimmy the janitor. And he, he, he was like the, the main guy here. There's a story about him strangling a, a girl that went to the school. I don't know how old the girl was, but apparently he killed a girl and he made it away. And 
They never found them or ne never caught them. Look at this. This looks like a science lab of some sort. Super clean. Really, really creepy place. I'm gonna see if my K2 is picking up anything so far. Sorry guys, I had to cut clip because my camera battery died all of a sudden. I just walked in here. So I'm gonna turn off some lights. The guys are, I think they're still outside. I'm trying to see if there's any activity on the K2 meter in here. Literally sitting here in the dark all by myself, which is kind of wild. Are there any spirits or demons that want to communicate with us? That last building we were in, you guys gave us quite the scare. Look at this. Holy moly, this is terrifying. Wow. Look at this. There's books here. Whoa. Oh, those are not... <laughs> I thought that was a book. Those are just tiles from the floor. Yep, looks like books, guys. Check out this setup over here. Pretty cool. Who's there? Just heard something very strange down that way. There are any spirits with me right now? Where the heck is everybody? I don't know if they went to a different building, kind of left me off by myself here, but I'm terrified to be in here alone. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. It's a room. Oh wow, look at that. There's like some art here on the wall. Pretty good art, whoever did this, good job. And there's some more over here. Wow. So creepy, you guys. Shit. My light is about to die. I need to change my battery on my light before I move any further. All right, guys, we're good to go. This one is locked. What's crazy is this place does not have any destruction in it whatsoever. Pretty interesting. So I was making it all the way down here and then my battery for my light started to drain. So far my camera and my light started to malfunction since I've been in here. That's not a good sign. What is going on here? Whoa, look at this. It's like a, a really creepy room of some sort. <gasps> Guys! Hello? Hello? Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Something grabbed me. Something grabbed me in there. My light shut off. I just put a brand new battery light because both my camera and my light died inside. So I changed them. Yeah. As I made it to that last room, something turns off my light and I couldn't turn it back on. It was the scariest thing ever. It felt like something touched me in there. Oh, Holy shit. How come you guys are still out here? Well, I'm, I'm waiting to go in here night vision. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready to come in now. Oh my god. Yeah, what the f was that? Oh. oh my god, my heart is beating so hard. Holy I don't know what that was. Something like grabbed me, but it turned off the light at the same time. Yeah. That's crazy. Alright. Did you do anything? Say anything? I was just walking in. I was, you know, I got the K2 meter in hand, and I'm like, is there anything here? Is there anything here? First of all, the second I walk in, my camera dies. Change the battery. Then as I'm walking, the light dies. Change the battery and then I put a fresh battery and look at this guys four bars. Yeah, you can see that four bars on my light yeah, yeah. I walked not even a couple steps into the last room mm -hmm. And then it just it just shuts off and I freak out because I felt something touch my hand. Jeez, bro <sighs> this, is this is exciting. Huh? I'm gonna go in here with night vision only so. yeah, sounds good, man. Do I'm it. I just heard that Something, dra something dragging. Yeah. 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 Wait, remember the story you told me. Jimmy. Jimmy, oh, the, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy the janitor. Jimmy. All right, Jimmy, we're coming in. Okay, I want to go back in. That was scary. Good luck. All right. Thanks. Guys a little bit. That was scary, but uh, I got to go back in. Angela's going to... We're going to... We're going to go in together. We'll split apart a little bit. Okay. It was down this way. Where? 
That's creepy. That's, that's literally the first thing you see. When you oh, what the hell? I didn't see that earlier. A bucket and a mop. Okay, that's terrifying. What if Jimmy's ghost is here? I'm on edge, man. That was terrifying. Oh. So I walk into this room first, right? My camera dies in here. When I walk out here, my light dies. Change it and I walk to the last room at the end. And that's, that's where it started to happen. I'm gonna keep it rolling from here, guys. This is an investigation after all. I can't just run away and be scared. I'm here for a reason, to give you guys entertainment and to document some paranormal stuff. This is exactly about where I, I made it to. I think, I don't remember, was it here? That's terrifying. Yeah, it was like right about here. I don't know what the hell went on in there. Jimmy the ghost, are you here? Talk to me. You gave me quite a scare right there. So this is where I made it to, like right over here. And then some shit went down. Yeah, right here. What was that? Is no one in here? Yeah, they're outside. I can see their flashlights. What? Did you guys throw like a can or something? I was literally just sitting listening to music. Okay, there was like a can that literally just got thrown at the end of the hall. Seriously? At the end of the hallway, we, we heard like a can. It sounded like me <clears throat> off to the right? I don't know. I literally, some new music just dropped, so we were just listening to some new music. Okay. I don't see anything. I, I'm sure my camera picked up on that. Yeah. Was this here when you walked by? What? This bush beer? Uh, I don't know. Did it sound like this? That's what we heard. Exactly like that. Yeah, I mean, you saw us. We're Was that standing upright? No, I'm not sure. I mean, you literally saw us, Hannah. Yeah, no, we, we saw you outside. That's why we were like, what the f***? Because I thought maybe it was you guys at first. There's a bunch of cans in here, bro. Okay, yeah, that's what we heard though, a can. And look what's behind you guys. Look what's in the middle of the hallway. It's the hallway guys, it's behind you. Look, oh. <laughs> Jimmy the janitor's bucket. Oh shit, oh. you're right. That's the bucket. That's yeah, creepy. Okay. You know what's really freaky about this place? How like, untouched it is. You don't really see that a lot with the van places. Well this is natural decay. Everything you're seeing is natural decay. Oh yeah. Right? No, it absolutely just, looks rough down the hallway. But it looks really nice. But you only see there. one tag in here, which is so weird. You know? Okay, I will, I'll just carry on. Good luck, boys. We'll be out there again. All right, cool. All right, the boys are going back outside. Angelo and I are splitting up. Hey, look, there's an elevator over here. That's where the, the boys going outside right now. Whoa. I gotta tie my shoes. Whoa, look at this classroom. I'm gonna set you guys down for a minute just to tie my shoes over here. Ugh. Check out this part over here. Looks like an administration side. Basement, there's a basement here. I didn't know that. Silent switch, what's that for? Whoa. Hey. Wow, look at this computer. Really old school. I think it's a radio. This is what they they used back in the day for the intercom system. This school is really untouched. Everything you're seeing here is oh. the fuck is that? Okay, now I'm freaking out. As a bat I heard a whistle. Jimmy's ghost, are you here?
That bucket absolutely terrifies me, guys. I know it's just a, a bucket, but... Hey, did you hear like a whistle? A whistle? Yeah. No. Okay, I heard a whistle. Uh, hey, look at these lockers have smiley faces on them. Kind of creepy. It's really easy for me to get confused and things to, you know, get confusing when you're kind of scared. So I, I was going down this hallway and then I went through this room and then went back to Angelo. And that's fear right there. Fear sometimes controls us. What was that? I was just thinking the same thing, bro. What was that? I thought maybe you like kicked something, but that wasn't you? There was movement. That was happening right by Jimmy's bucket. That was happening right by Jimmy's bucket, guys. Where's my key to here? I'm just saying like, a lot of people out there that are controlled by fear. I don't let fear control me. I may let it scare me sometimes and I freak out, but I come back and that's how you face your fears, right? And you know, that's what we all collectively have to do, to do together is to control our fear, not let anyone, anything control us using fear tactics. And you know, this, in a way, this is kind of why like I'm here alone, walking around, showing you guys that I can beat my fear no matter what happens. I'm not getting anything on the K2 meter. Slimy. There's another classroom over here. I'm eager to see. Ooh, K2 meter was just ticking right here. I'm eager to see what's what's in the basement because huh, the basement looks terrifying. I mean, imagine like a basement in an asylum. It's probably going to be nasty, but it's probably going to be scary. There's just empty classrooms over here. Yeah, not much going on. It's still creepy to look at though. Any spirits want to communicate with me on the K2 meter? Want to talk to me? Let me know you're here. Let's make our way down to the basement. So this is the basement. Um, Jasko and Chris are going in to film the upstairs area. Me and Angel are teaming up. I'm not gonna go down here alone. I don't want some messed up shit to happen to me. Cause it still goes down deeper and deeper. Have you been down here before? Yeah, I've been down here. Okay. So Angel came here alone actually in the daytime a while ago. Um, we are in the USA. So the second I crossed back over yesterday, he uh, uh, Holy moly, it's terrifying down here. Whoa. It's like clean, but moldy. Let's see if I can get anything on this. Oh my God, look at this. Your K2's going off? Mine isn't. It's like off to yellow, now it's stopped. Let's turn off our lights a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, yours is going crazy. How come yours is going crazy? Am I not? Oh, his is going crazy. Something's affecting you. Yeah, for real. Hey, whatever's doing that to his K2 meter, you want to transfer over to mine? You want to make mine go crazy a little bit? Man, it's so terrifying being in the dark. So I guess he doesn't want to give me anything. Strange. So this looks like it was like kind of like a mechanical area. I don't know how many videos we're gonna film out here. You guys know in the first episode I said we're gonna do one, two, three videos. Um, I'm gonna film as much as I can out here tonight. I don't know, like I know you guys want more content. I know you guys want long videos, but for me it doesn't make sense to make one long, two hour long video. I'm out here spending tons of money to be out here to film, to travel, to book hotels and Airbnbs and gas and food and all that stuff, just to give you guys free videos to watch. You guys won't pay a cent for this stuff. I don't ask you for money and I never will ask you for money. Um, I just ask you guys for your awesome support and your positivity. So that's why like, I'm breaking off all these videos that I'm doing from this asylum 
area and uh, just giving you guys as much content as I can. So if you haven't been paying attention, we're in this crazy big location. It's like an entire village. I've never been here before. The last episode I posted was the first episode that I posted from here. It was a big asylum. Girls stayed here. It was mostly for girls. And um, it was a school at one point as well in time. And each building, it's crazy because each building had a different story of girls being violated, mutilated, death, Lots of bad things happen here. I'm not gonna say where this place is because the owner gave me permission to film here, but he doesn't want people to come here and destroy it. As you guys can see, this place is in mint condition. Like, there's no graffiti anywhere. There's no destruction anywhere. And I, I would love it if it stayed like this. I know people, when they find locations, they come and set them on fire, they destroy them. Oh, what the hell is this? Ooh, it's an elevator shaft. Oh, should I step in this? Oh man, terrifying. All right, let's step in it. Oh, <laughs> it feels kind of unsafe. Uh, okay, not bad. Not bad. What if the door's closed right now? Now that would be terrifying. I don't know why, but for some reason, this building here, it reminds me of the corridors in the show Squid Game. I don't know if you guys have watched Squid Game. Love it. Really terrifying show though. It keeps you on edge. But uh, it kind of reminds me of that. Like the lockers, the painted walls. Whoa. We got what looks like a kitchen. Why is there a kitchen in here? Pretty interesting. Bathroom. Mint condition. Look at this kitchen, it's clean. It's like the floors are mint condition, you guys. Nothing here, it's just an empty room. The bathroom, clean. I gotta use the bathroom actually, so this is kinda cool. So, I just realized something. There's a seat belt for the toilet. Why is there a seat belt? Could it be for those late night Taco Bell runs? Like, think about it for a sec. Think about it. Going to Taco Bell at nighttime, that destroys the stomach, right? You go in the bathroom, you just want to shit your brains out. And that's what the seatbelt's for. Just a closet. Most of the lockers down here are, are all closed, and I think they're all locked, actually. How are they locked, though? What the f*** was that? What was you? No, not that. What? what the hell was that? It felt like the, the, the ceiling just collapsed. Really? Shh. What's going on up there? I don't know. You didn't hear that loud bang? No, no, no. I stepped on something like metal. Thing. No, I heard that. That was you. Yeah. But it was a loud bang. I don't know. I've been hearing all sorts of weird stuff in here. Man. I hope they're okay up there. I'm not gonna go up there because they're filming in night vision and I don't wanna interrupt their video with my light. Oh, it's sound, uh, sound rooms. Wow, look at this. What the f was that? Hello? Door just what's in this room? <gasps> oh, something just grabbed my. What's wrong? I just suddenly got like, I don't know, I just feel weird. Something, something literally grabbed my ear. Oh, literally I, at the exact same moment. You okay? Yeah, it was like a short pain right in the back of my head, and I felt really dizzy for a second. I actually thought I was gonna like pass out. What's doing that? 
when I opened the door, it's like something grabbed my ear and tugged my ear, and then it affected you. I mean, there's nothing in here. It's just an empty room, you know? Yeah. Whatever did that, can you do it again? Well, you can walk all the way around this thing. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm like walking right behind this. Yo, this is a, a clean, clean, clean asylum, bro. Right? Like, holy crap, I can't believe, look, the carpets are clean. Yeah. If we wanted to, we could have camped out here and not got on an Airbnb. <laughs> we actually rented a place nearby. Um, wow, we literally could have just brought some sleeping bags. Dude, I want to spend some time in these rooms here. Just do not close that door behind me. I don't know if they're going to lock behind me or not. Whoa, oh my god, the sound difference. Oh my god, that is terrifying. The sound difference in here. So this is a sound deadening room. Back in the day, they used to use, I don't, they probably still use them nowadays. I don't know what they did with them with the patients but maybe they were checking their hearing i don't know these were meant to block out all noises all sounds everything and this door was closed look how thick these doors are and they're all made to, to dead dead in the sound and just you know i don't know if anything good was done in these rooms like is this bulletproof too thick glass this is where they would communicate with them. Like you'd have the doctor or scientist communicate with the patients through this. These buttons, so much cool stuff left behind. Now keep in mind, this whole place has like 52 abandoned buildings and we're not gonna film them all tonight. I've only filmed one other building and that was the previous video that you guys watched. We're on the second building. So we're gonna try to film as much as we can tonight. I might have to come back through the daytime and film more for you guys. So if you guys want that, smash the like button. Oh, what the hell is this? Have you been in here? Dude, there's so many like hidden ins and outs. Cool things to look at. I mean, I know. Yeah, cause there was a kitchen down that way. Oh, cool, look at this. So where's the cafeteria then? Little kitchenette. Oh, that's a big kitchen. Holy moly. This thing is mint. No graffiti, no destruction, all just like natural decay. Wow. It's so retro too. I like it. I like it a lot. Whoa. And it's, oh, this is where they had their food here. This is the cafeteria over here through this window. Wow, you guys, look at this. This is not the coolest place ever. It's been a while since I've done a nice haunted asylum. And I'm really sorry about that, let me just say. Um, it's hard filming in Canada. There's like not much going on right now to film, which is why I'm here in the USA, grinding my butt off. Whoa. Just a big old empty cafeteria room. There's some equipment over here though, left behind. Look at this. I don't know what this is. It's like a radio of some sort. Imagine it was to turn on right now. That'd be so cool. See that radio? It'd be cool if that thing was to just turn on. <laughs> that thing is cool. Hey, Jimmy the ghost. Are you in here with us? Can you make my K2 spike? Well, look at this TV. I mean, we got a little bit of destruction. Somebody broke this TV. Wow. Yeah, it's like an old ass TV. Kind of reminds me of like a prison TV. That's a classic right there. Yeah. Let's go back and see what the guys are up to. A mural. Oh, cool. Look, it's Halloween themed. Yeah. Pumpkins. 
That's pretty good. Whoever drew this is it's got talent. It's Halloween month too. Yeah, what are the odds of that? It's October. We're in October right now. Crazy. So we're gonna go outside and wait for Jasco. So we all just came to conclusion that we're gonna go into the room where my camera first died the second I walked into this place and do a necrophonic. Yeah, I've also just got some crazy stuff through necrophonic alone. So I think that we should do it as a group. Mm -hmm. Um why the hell not? Let's yeah. do it. You said it was this one here. Yeah, like this, the moment I walked into this place, like even when I went down there, weird shit was happening. But the second I walked into this room, the battery on my camera died. So what we're probably let's just set up everything on the table here. We can literally put it on the table, sit down on the floor, it's clean ass floor. Hey, look floor. hey, look at this. It's another one of these. Oh, I found one earlier. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Can I have that one? You can have it. Cool. There you go. Oh, it's like plastic. Awesome. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Though. It's cool. Not Wait, where's mine? <laughs> Wait, mine's actually not even in my pocket. Oh, this is yours? How'd it get there? Got no, I don't want that. The f what? The f How'd it get there? Yeah, actually, I did not put. Like, I was in my pocket. That's actually wild. Okay, that's weird. All right, so we're about to do a necrophonic session. We're actually gonna sit here for a long while, just listening in. Um, if things happen, we're not gonna like go and chase after. We just want to sit here and communicate with spirits. This is something that you guys want us to do all the time. Any spirits that want to communicate with us in here? <laughs> We just got a hello. Mm -hmm. It was like a hello. Can I ask a question? What's, what's your name? Uh, Did I just hear Jimmy? Dave Paul? Hey, Celine, are you still with us right now? Me? Do you wanna, you know, Open something, close something, talk to us, move something, touch one of us, turn off one of our lights. Where are we right now? School. School. There it is. My name is Mo Sarji, that's Angelo, that's Jasco, and that's Chris. Do you know why we're here? Haunted. Did something bad happen to you? Was Jimmy evil? Evil. Evil. Holy That's shit. Wild. We're getting like instant replies. Yeah, there's something. Why was Jimmy so evil? <laughs> Who did Jimmy kill? Pretty. Is that why he did? Was he not able to get her and he got mad and killed her? <laughs> Who wants to talk to me? Who's saying my name? Once a human? Shut up. Did you just say shut up? Tell him shut up. Right? Why are you telling him to shut up? Hey? Rumble. Are you standing in front of us right now? Make my phone spin or something. Make it move. Make a noise for us. No, I live after most. Why is it always me? Why are you always after me? God damn it! Do you want to hurt me? You're probably a demon, aren't you? Yeah. Demon. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, 
What kind of demon are you? I know you demons like to play tricks and you pretend to be friendly. Was a demon possessing Jimmy at one point? Basement. What about the things? Oh God, I thought I just saw like, in this reflection, I thought I just saw someone like, what kind of people find? Was that you that Jasko just seen? No. Who was it? Or what was it? Demons? Demons. What's this demon's name? They're close. How many of them are there that are evil? Eleven. Eleven. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That was wow. like instant. How about you prove it? How about you prove it that there's a demon here? Make a sound. Make a noise. Do something. Let us know that some something is here. Demons feed off fear. I'm not afraid of you right now. What are you gonna do about it? That's not angry. What if I told you I'm going to be here all night long bothering you? Something about something. What's the guy's name that worked here that killed the girl? Pajamas. <laughs> I sleep in my underwear. Unless you want to see that. I just heard you ask to speak for yourself. <laughs> Are there any demons attached to Yasko? Hello? Why? Here. I got scratched at Penhurst, and the people were saying I might have an attachment with myself. We also did the dowsing house, and they pointed at him when we asked him. Come? Coming. Sorry. Who's coming? Him. him. Who, who's him? Is Jimmy him? Is Jimmy coming? Is Jimmy coming? Is he coming for us? Hey, Mo. Jimmy's coming for you, Mo. Yo, what the? Jimmy, leave me the fuck alone, dude. Hey, it's that same voice. Jimmy, show yourself. I did not like that. Did you really kill a girl? Yourself known my guy. It's so weird that I just got so <laughs> What the No. What the f is that? What the f is that? The lockers are closed. 
What do you mean oh, the lock? Bro, every oh, What the f What the f Grab your shit. Grab your shit. Grab your shit. What the f Pain! It's saying pain. It's saying pain. Guys, how did the lockers just close? I don't know. That, was so rough. that doesn't just happen. How the f does that happen? All of them. They were all over, right? Bro, I don't want to spend another minute. Okay, go, go. Though. Get the f out of here right now. That was terrifying. I felt that. I f felt that. What the f? Go, go. Every one of those lockers, th they were open when we walked in, right? Uh -huh. I Dude. spent the entire, like, night vision session and they were all open. I, I thought, I thought, like, the, the, like, the ceilings were collapsing or something. That's what it sounded like to me. Holy shit. Whoa. My heart is beating. What could have done that? Seriously. I mean, we were getting a lot of demon activity. Demon, demon, yeah. demon, demon, demon. I kept saying Jimmy. I heard Jimmy a lot. We are yeah. done. I'm we done. are done. I'm done.